If you put Donald Trump, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Jordan Peterson, Bill Gates, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Richard Branson in a room, what would be the one thing they could agree on? Simple, Elon Musk. I think what Elon's done with Tesla is fantastic. Uh, it's you know probably the biggest single contribution to showing us that electric cars are part of how we solve climate change. Uh, and now he's got a carbon removal challenge. Uh, so we need more Elon Musks. Uh, we need one for steel and cement and all the different categories. God only knows what's up with him, all things considered. We saw his new truck. Uh, the truck's an amazing piece of engineering. The factory is massive. Uh, you know, what do you say about someone who built a functional electric car and then shot it into space on a rocket? It's, he's a singular person. Of course, uh, uh, Elon Musk, uh, who has been an extraordinary leader in car manufacturing and, uh, you know, we love his uh, cars. He has, he has a force in society that's like a cross-pollination of Thomas Edison and Tony Stark from the Avengers, okay? You cross-pollinate those two folks, you get Elon Musk. Now, he's got a publicly traded company. You don't cross the SEC, okay? You must obey the regulations regarding your public company. But otherwise, give the man some space. Let him be an individual. What, do you want to homogenize him so he looks like any other person in a boardroom? What would that be? I mean, Elon and his team are um, extraordinary what they achieved. Yeah, and he's also doing the rockets. He likes rockets and uh, he does good at rockets, too, by the way. I never saw where the engines come down with no wings, no anything, and they're landing. I said, I've never seen that before. And I was worried about him because he's one of our great geniuses and we have to protect our genius. He's done a very good job. Uh, shocking how well, you know, how it's come so fast. I mean, you go back a year. And they were talking about the end of the company. And now all of a sudden they're talking about these great things. He's going to be building a very big plant. Founder, CEO, angel investor, business giant, and tech mogul. Elon Musk is considered one of the most influential people on the planet. His story is weaved with epic failures and massive triumphs, as well as plenty of hard work and dedication. Here are five lessons that Elon Musk has taught us about being a leader and icon in the business and tech world. While the mogul's life seems to be well within the lap of luxury, this wasn't always the case. Growing up, Elon had to deal with an abusive father, his parents' divorce, and being horrendously bullied at school. According to The Guardian, the bullying had gotten so bad that he was admitted to hospital for two weeks after a gang of boys threw him down a flight of stairs. This didn't stop Elon. He found solace in his dream of moving to the United States and finding a way to change the world. Work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. And then a lot of work. That, that, that all those things improve the odds of success. Okay. Um, right. I mean, if, 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 if other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that in, in one year you will achieve what they achieve. You, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. It's no secret that Elon has an incredible work ethic. He understood that by taking more time to grow your business and invest as much as you could into your business, you would be ahead of your competitors. Growing a business is no easy task, especially if you want to be at the top. Find ways that allow you to work on your business more efficiently and you will leave your competition in the dust. I think the right way to, to think of things is like, what is the most useful thing that you can think of to do yeah. and, and that others are not doing? If our problems are getting well solved by others, there's, there's not much point in going and then competing against them if they're going to solve it well anyway. Uh, it's better to work on things that you think probably people, enough smart people aren't working on. Following his own advice, Elon has helped found and create businesses that have had a major and positive impact on humanity. He is continually looking to help solve problems that we face daily. By becoming the solution to a problem, you become invaluable to not only your clients, but the world as well. I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. Taking risks is something Elon is well versed in. With the many obstacles he's had to face in every one of the companies he has been a part of, most people would have thrown in the towel and moved on. Not Elon. If it wasn't for his tenacity and drive, Tesla would have gone out of business and SpaceX would have never seen a successful launch. I would say I'm motivated by curiosity more than anything. Just a desire to 
think about the future. And I mean, I'm feeling, I guess, rel relatively optimistic about the future these days. Um, there are certainly um, some big risks that humanity faces. Uh, I think the, the population collapse is a really big deal that um, I wish more people would, would, would think about. I was always sort of really uh, interested in reading when I was a kid, um, and I read a a everything that I could get my hands on. I read the encyclopedia. I read At every what age? Um, let's see, probably age nine or ten. Okay. Um, you were starting. I, I, well, not that I actually wanted to read the encyclopedia, but I ran out of things to read, so in desperation, I read the encyclopedia. You just um, really wanted to learn. So yeah. in an early stage, you had that, and you had that inner drive yourself. Yeah. So, um, well, okay. I just, I just sort of, I, I got bored easily, and so unless I was doing something um, like reading or uh, playing a video game or watching TV, and we had like terrible TV in South Africa, was, you know, I, I, I like watching TV, right. <laughs> but there wasn't that much of it. So, Elon is a big advocate for learning and has been led by his curiosity for most of his life. He is an avid reader and claims that reading is what taught him to build rockets. He even hired learning guru Jim Quick to help him master quicker reading and learning. If the man behind SpaceX and Solar City has time to learn and stay curious, it may be something you want to try out yourself as well. When, when I was a kid, I was wondering kind of what's the meaning of life? Like, why are we here? What's it all about? And um, I came to the conclusion that uh, what, what really matters is trying to understand the right questions to ask. And the more that we can increase the scope and scale of uh, human consciousness, the better we are able to ask these questions. There are certain things that are necessary to ensure that the future is good. And some of those things are in the long term, having long term sustainable transport and sustainable energy generation uh, to be a space bearing civilization and for humanity to be out there among the stars and be a multi-planetary uh, species. Um, I mean, I think the being a multi-planet species and being out there among the stars is important for uh, the long-term survival of humanity. And uh, that's one reason, kind of like life insurance for life collectively, life as we know it. Um, but then the part that I find personally most motivating is that it creates a sense of adventure and it makes people excited about the future. Elon Musk is an inspiration for people around the world. His hope to better humanity to create a future we can be excited about is not only inspiring, but something that all humanity should look forward to. Which one of these lessons will you use to help make your future brighter? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with new videos.